Today I want to talk about something that every Excel user should know how to do, which is how to freeze panes. Uh, and this comes in handy when you want to lock in something like a top row, and you have a lot of rows to scroll through. So just like this, I want to see my titles as I scroll down my list and they are locked into place. So right now they are frozen. And if this is what you want, you found the right video. So if I go up to my view tab here and I will see there's a freeze panes button. And right now I have my top row frozen. If I want to start from scratch, I can click that and hit unfreeze panes. And you'll see right now there are no frozen rows or columns. Everything kind of moves as I scroll. But if I hit freeze panes again and decide to freeze my top row by hitting this one, now when I scroll down, you'll see that top row, this one is locked in. So and just a side note, anything that is horizontal is called a row in Excel and any of these vertical A, B, C, D, E, those are all columns. So right now I have a row locked in, my top one with all my headers, but sometimes you wanna lock in a column. So what if I want to do that? Well, I'm gonna go back to my freeze panes button and hit freeze first column. Now my first row is no longer frozen. You'll see that top header line is gone. But if I scroll to the right, my first column, which would be A, is locked in. So this is good if I have headers along my uh, left side here instead of along the top, which happens from time to time. So that's good to, good to know. But if I want to remove that, I go back to my view tab, freeze pans, unfreeze pans. And now everything is back to the beginning where I can scroll through and nothing is locked in. But another really cool option is just your freeze panes option. So let me explain how that works. If I have a cell selected and hit freeze panes, only the things to the left, the panes to the left will be frozen and anything above. So just for example, I'm gonna hit it, freeze panes. You'll see that this crosshairs was created, these two lines. And now when I scroll down, these top seven rows are locked in, right? Because I'm scrolling down and they stay the same while everything else can be scrolled. And then if I scroll to the right, everything to the right of the first two columns is scrollable. So that's really good if you have some information you need to stay in place, but other information that you want to be scrollable. So this is really cool. And if I want to remove that, just back to freeze panes, unfreeze panes. Uh, let's just try it again real quick. So say I want to freeze, let's say everything to the left of PLA, the cell that I have selected, D13, and everything above. Back to freeze panes, freeze panes. And that crosshair is created again, and now I can scroll down and I'm seeing everything change under that. And then if I scroll to the right, I can do that as well. So that is pretty cool to know. Um, and then it's easy to undo, unfreeze. Mostly I like to have my titles along my top row. So I use freeze top row the most often, and that's just good to know. But like I said, there are different use cases for all three. And I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, please check out my playlist in Excel where I have other tips and tricks. And thank you for watching.